So in this video, we're going to prove that sine squared of z plus cosine squared of z is equal to 1. In this problem, z is a complex number, so this proof will be a little bit different um, than the proof you would see in a trigonometry class. Let's go ahead and go through it carefully. So proof. So first, it's really important to know what the actual definition of cosine and sine are. Okay, so the cosine of z, where z is a complex number, this is equal to e to the iz plus e to the negative iz all over 2. So here i is the square root of negative 1, right? So if you square i, you get um, negative 1. So i here is the square root of negative 1. Okay, and then sine z, it's very similar, but it's different. So it's e to the iz, then it has a minus e to the negative iz, and it's all over 2, and then there's also an i here, so it's a little bit um, different, right? It's really easy to forget the i. Just remember, sine has the i, sine has the i. Good stuff. Okay. So now to do this problem, all we're going to do is show that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So I'm just going to start um, by writing down the left-hand side, and we'll just show it's equal to 1. I have not done this problem yet, so this will be kind of, <laughs> kind of interesting. All right, so let's do it. Sine squared z plus cosine squared z. Okay, that's equal to... Well, now we'll just replace sine with what it is. Sine is this, so it'll be parentheses e to the iz, okay, minus e to the negative iz all over 2i. And this whole quantity here is, is being squared, right? Because it's being squared. So this is our sine z plus, plus, then we have e to the iz plus e to the negative iz. And this one's all over 2. And this whole quantity here is also, also being squared, right? So all we've done so far is we've written down the left-hand side and we've replaced uh, sine with sine and cosine with cosine. Now let's do some math, and uh, I'm going to take some shortcuts here when I, when I do the math. Um, we're just going to use some properties from algebra, like a plus b squared, right? You square the first one, uh, you multiply these and you double them, so it's 2ab, and then you square the last one, so b squared. And if it's a minus b, it's the same, except you have a minus here. Okay, so this is equal to, so we're going to square this one. Now, when you square this, when you square e to the iz, what happens is you get e to the iz squared, right? And then what you do here is you multiply the 2 by the iz. So, so when you square this one, you get e to the 2iz, and then it's going to be minus, and then it's 2, and then it's this times this. But when you multiply these, you're adding the exponents, right? So you'll, I don't want to clutter the proof with this, but you would get this. So you get 1. So that middle term is going to be 2 times 1. So you, so you get 1. Beautiful stuff. This is awesome. And plus, um, this is going to be e to the negative iz squared. As before, we'll multiply by 2. So plus e to the negative 2 iz. Oh, that's cool. And then all here, down here, we're going to get uh, 2 squared, which is 4. And then i squared is negative 1, so it'll be negative 4. Let's figure this one out. Plus, same thing here. This will be e to the 2iz plus 2, right, because these cancel like before, plus 2, uh, plus, whoops, 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 <laughs> plus e to the negative 2iz. I told you I haven't done this before, all over 4. I mean, I'm sure I've done it at some point in my life, but I just found this in some book. I'm like, oh, this seems like a cool problem to do this, you know, start the day with some uh, mathematics, right? Um, so let's see what's going on here. I think this negative 4... What we can do here is we can put the negative upstairs and distribute it through, and that way we have a common denominator and we can write it all. So I'm going to skip some steps here. I'm going to write everything over 4, and putting this negative up here is going to give us negative e to the 2iz plus 2 minus e to the negative 2iz. Then we have plus e to the 2iz plus 2 and then plus e to the negative 2iz. So basically you took this negative here and then just distributed it up here and then just kept this uh, kept this the same. Uh, let's see what happens now. I have to think. Let's see. So these, uh, oh, let's see. This cancels with this. Okay. 
and looks like um, this one cancels with this one. Oh, good stuff. Two plus two is four. So I'm gonna come up here. So we get four over four. And so we get one and that completes the proof. I like to put a box with an X when I finish my proof. So kind of a cool problem. Um, yeah, that's it. Take care.